Hey guys, it's Sensuki and welcome to my beginner's guide to Pillars of Eternity. In this video, I'll be showcasing the DPS bar dual wielding Barbarian. Okay, so I've made an Amawa Barbarian and I haven't min maxed my stats, but I've assigned them uh, relatively optimally. One of the interesting things about this one is I've put 18 into Intellect, so this is technically a smart Barbarian. The reason is, Barbarians have a passive ability called Carnage. And what Carnage does is when you make a melee attack against an enemy, it makes a Carnage attack against all enemies within a small area of effect. And it hit, it, um, so you do like area of effect damage with your standard attacks. The reason I've uh, put 18 into Intellect is to increase the area of effect of that um, passive attack by close to 50%, which is really good. I also get bonus duration on my um, Frenzy, which is the level 1 ability that I have, which gives me some might, constitution, and attack speed. Um, but it makes me easy to hit and it con conceals my health um, and endurance values. Okay, so I have put 16 into Might and 15 to, into Dexterity. Now, the reason I haven't put all of my points into Might is because I'm not sure... Because I'm it, when, I'm, when I've got um, a faster attack speed, I'm actually hitting... I'm going to be hitting more than one unit, so I don't actually know if the extra attacks against all the different units will end up giving me more DPS than slower attacks with a little bit more damage. Um, with might, I'm not actually sure. So the re that's the reason I've put um, good but not insane values in those. And I've bumped my constitution down to nine because barbarians are naturally tanky, and this is not going to be the style of barbarian that stands in the middle of the fight tanking, which I'm going to demonstrate. I'm also yeah. using no armor. I'm just wearing deer wooden clothing, and I'm using two spears. Uh, spears are one of my favorite one-handed weapons in the game because they are a one-handed weapon and they're also accurate Which is important in the early game in particular huh? Okay, so I'm gonna fight the wolves Let's check by those out Now I'm gonna need? send Kalisha in first and I'm gonna huh? use my barbarian rage mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so now as you can see um, I can't see my endurance and health and I've got the bump and I'm gonna come in Okay, so as you can see I've hit both of those um, wolves there I hit one for 12, and then the Carnage hit the, the Wolf for 7, so I actually hit both of them at the same time. So that, that's the reason why I've got the area of effect and the huh? attack speed, is so I can hit both at once. And I'll also hit 14 and 3, 12 and 7, I missed that one. So you see I'm attacking really quickly, I'm hitting them both because of the Carnage, and I am just wrecking face. Huh? So that's the cool thing about this Barbarian. This is it. Okay, down to the bridge. What a surprise. Sp Alrighty, now to deal with the situation where I'm actually getting targeted. Ambush. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use mm -hmm. my frenzy, knock this guy down. Yeah. And I'm going to rush the archer. Mm -hmm. Now the barbarian is not good on this. Is, it's suboptimal to have the barbarian trying to one v one somebody, but in this bit here, I have no choice. As you can see, I'm not struggling to take that guy down. Come on, we have to sure. get to camp. No, I won't yeah. bother looting that, it's not, not imperative. Huh? Now, I think I'll level up the Barbarian first this time. Add experience. To level 4. Okay, so when the Barbarian levels up, at level 2, you'll get 3 um, class talents. Greater Frenzy, which adds plus 2 Might and Constitution to your Frenzy. I'm not really a big fan of that one, it's not too bad though. Accurate Carnage, which makes all of your Carnage attacks give plus 5 accuracy because by default they get minus 10. So that's not a bad idea either. Uh, but this is one I really like. It's called Barbaric Blow. It does a full attack with both weapons with a, an area of effect of uh, times 1.25. So it'll be a big area and it has a higher chance to critical hit and it does more critical hit damage. I really like opening encounters with that. I think that's a really cool one. So I'm going to pick that one. And I'm not going to level up to level 3, but at level 3 you get a choice of 4 
um, abilities. You get Barbaric Yellow, which you also get at level 1, which does an uh, faux AoE uh, for Frightened, which is a debuff, which reduces their resolve, dexterity, and accuracy. It's not bad, but lots of other classes can debuff, and the DPS Barbarian wants to be DPSing. So you could take... Um, you could take Blooded. This, I think the uh, description for this is wrong. I think it's supposed to give times 1.2 damage when you're below half health. That's not a bad one. Personally, I prefer Savage Defiance, which is um, a per encounter. It gives you plus 94.4 endurance over 16.8 seconds. So it's basically a passive. It's an active heal. So I, usually I pick this one. I don't pick Wild Sprint. It makes you faster, but it's a per rest ability. And it doesn't really do much other than making you quicker, which you don't really need. So I'm going to cancel the level up. And I'm going to show off the Barbaric Blow. Huh? So I'm going to send Kalisha in first what because she's got a better deflection and she's got armor. I'm going to come in and knock this guy. Actually, I'm going to run in, try and run in as close as possible, but I've been engaged. So now I'm going to come in and do my Frenzy. Then I'm going to do Barbaric Blow on this guy. And I friggin' missed. That is really anticlimactic. So these, um, these land well, Fathom Hunters are a little bit harder to hit because of their yeah. shields. Mm -hmm. And I missed again. But as you can see, like I'm attacking really quickly huh? with these spears mm -hmm. because I'm in frenzy mode and I'm doing pretty good damage. So, yeah, the, like like the DPS monk, the the DPS barbarian is just a really fast attacking dual wielder. You can use them with two handed weapons, but I really like the the dual wielding spears and dual wielding things like maces and stuff like that as well. Uh, sabers is also a good option. But um, yeah, you can you don't have to use any specific weapon. I just prefer I really like spears. You could use an S stock or something if you wanted to as well, because you'd probably do more carnage damage. All right, so that's it for this demonstration. Um, if you have a preference for the next class, there's not many left. I've only got to do rangers. Um, what other classes have I got left? Rangers and priests. I think are the only ones that I haven't done. There might be another one. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I'll try and get those done later on tonight. If not, probably tomorrow or the day after or something. Thanks for watching, guys, and look forward to the next one.